up everybody welcome back to the channel man you already know who it is it's your boy blogging with Greg back with another reaction video this one is gonna be a collab with Tom and Dex pretty sure y'all already know what it is man this blame the rappers man I went on and decided to do it just a little bit different with Tom and uh see what him and doing him and Dex got to talk about on this one man but first before we get started, y'all already know what you gotta do. You gotta subscribe to the channel. Turn your notification on to all. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what other suggestions y'all have on either one of these guys. And hit the like button. Show your love and hit the like button. Um, oh, and also, I done created an Instagram page, man. Y'all, I want y'all to go ahead on over there and go ahead on and follow, and follow your boy, man. It is official underscore VWG. Once again, that is official underscore VWG, man. Go over there and hit that button. So, with that being said, man, we're going to jump straight into this video with Tom and Dax, man. Blame the rappers. Let's see what they're talking about. Let's get it. Yeah, I'm a rapper, but I'm losing my respect for the genre. How many songs about Xanax and alcohol are we dropping? How many kids we gonna kill for we admit it's a problem? Probably mm. stop if it was one of us sons or one of our daughters. We know our demographic is primarily youth. We glorify breaking the law to children in school. Kids copy what we see and imitate what we do. They'll go yeah. to jail for doing the things she told them was cool. We put women in our videos exploiting their bodies. Well, little girls around the world grab their phone and they watch it. They need a realistic role model, not just a Barbie. They see strippers and escorts, but no lawyers or doctors. Hey, hip hop, what the hell happened? It was power to the people and we like that stuff these days you're promoting that it's fun to be an addict so i'm asking how could y'all write that bruh hmm. you can blame the rappers when you go up but your favorite songs are about doing drugs so what happens after these kids grow up and who's to blame for who they've become they made it look so The people that you influence, I swear by what you say, and that the melody you sing make wings, build dreams, and fill voids. We got medication straight through voice. Some give life and some destroy. And even though this money seems nice, it can't come, so we must take that as a hint that there's other things in life we should enjoy. We move mountains, we cross states, we play roles in presidential debates. So don't you try and tell me making music is for fun. And you don't care about the things that our music helped make. Man, I know I'm not perfect, but I'll change. I'm the outcome of this world and my pain, and this music is pills, and I promise this dose that you take. Make you say you can blame the rappers when you blow up, but your favorite songs are about doing drugs. So what happens after these kids grow up? And who's to blame for who they've become? They made it look so cool. Shoot those guns and hate the cops, and to get too drunk. Half of these artists can't even talk, they just mumble the lyrics. And the teenagers listen while they rebel from their parents. While the rappers tell them pop a pill by Gucci and wear it. They say screw the police, break the rules, smoke weed, buy some shoes you don't need, rep the hood in your street. All these rappers holding guns and now the kids want some. Mess around and kill a homie, you can't clean that blood. We encourage being stupid with our music and we're normalizing poor moral standards while we do it. Little boys see the way that women look on our videos and assume it's real life, project that image on little girls. It's unrealistic if you're young and you listen, you are one in a million, you are loved, you are different. Hey, hey. Pop. I know life moves on, but while I'm here, how could you write that, dog? You can blame the rappers when you blow up, but your favorite songs are about doing drugs. So what happens after these kids grow up? And who's to blame for who they've become? They made it look so cool to shoot those guns and hate the cops. Too 
dirty songs It's not cool in real life Cheap thrills and go until the morning comes See what that feels like You can blame the rappers when you blow up But your favorite songs are about to Time make you, time make me go back in, in when them days when I was doing that type of stuff. Like, not even caring about the world, nobody, nothing. Like, it had me in a in a place where I couldn't even like think straight. And man, <laughs> bro, that, that that song, whew. Boy, that song took me back in the place I don't even want to be at no more, bro. I'm not even telling you no word to lie, like that. I don't know, bro. It's like I've been saying, man. It's the the the, the rappers, just like he said, the, the way the rappers is these days, bro. It's like they, they they it's a real bad influence on the young on the young ones because they whatever they hear them say, they think that is cool. And they're going to run with it. So um, whatever they see them do, they want to do it. Because they figure, okay, they got popularity. So that's what I want. I want that same thing that he have. No, you do not. You do not want that. Because um, it's, it's a lot of things that comes with that. Like, it's a lot of behind the scenes things that y'all don't even know about. And... You don't want to put yourself through that. You don't want to put your body through that. You don't want to put your mind through that. It's a lot of things that they're going through that they wish that they never done. It's a lot of things that they seen they wish they never seen. So um, you might, I mean, just find the best route, bro. Because going down that road, following those that's doing the same things is... <laughs> Trust me, it either come back to haunt you or you just don't. It's something you don't want to go through. Trust me, you don't want to go through it. So if you anywhere in your twenties and younger, and you see this, man, don't try not to go that way because everything ain't green and everything ain't ain't what it seems to be. So, dog, uh, listen to the words that Tom saying in this thing, man, because it's. It's very, very important. It's real deep and it's very truthful that what, of what he's saying. And like guns and the drugs, using it, you don't want to put yourself through that. Trust me, you don't. <laughs> Speaking, uh, coming from somebody that's that's with that experience, and um, I'm, I'm thinking about doing a story time with that. I'm thinking about doing it. If y'all want to hear it, let me know. And I'll pick a day. I'll, I'll tell y'all all about that. But as of now, man. Just, yeah, but like I was saying. Sorry, y'all. My battery had died on my camera. So I do apologize for that. But um, like I was saying, man. Just take it from somebody that know, man. So um, just, just stay away from the negativity. So with that being said, man. This your boy vlogging with Greg, man. Y'all subscribe. Leave your comments down below and, and leave a like, man. I'm going to holler at y'all.